I bet there is an interesting Microsoft default utility or tool that you didn't know about. Let me help you understand. Especially when you don't have an antivirus software, there is an interesting tool that I was talking about, the SFC, which is System File Checker or DISM, Disk Image System Utility. Apart from these two utilities, there is a default utility with Windows called the MRT. MRT stands for Malicious Software Removal Toolkit or Malware Removal Toolkit. This is almost an alternative for your uh, antivirus software. but it is not an exact alternative let me help you understand As you are aware, antiviruses find viruses. What are the types of methods in which an antivirus identifies a virus? Number one, it identifies a virus using signatures by comparing signatures with the existing database. Number two, it uses anomaly-based detection. If there is a deviation from the normal, it identifies it as a signature. Third thing is a very popular one today. It's becoming one of the most popular technique of identifying a virus, which is a behavior pattern-based identification. Apart from these three, there are few more types of uh, identification that have been coming based on ai and ml related antivirus engines so today what we'll do is we will see if your system does not have an antivirus software and still you want to scan on your system what you have to do is go to run type mrt mrt stands for malicious software removal toolkit and once it opens up it will again like a regular antivirus software it will open up saying it clearly says this tool is not a replacement for an antivirus product okay let us go here it says you have three options quick scan full scan and customer scan customize scan you can simply say a particular folder and ask the engine to scan that particular folder this detects most popular known viruses and i'll tell you the signatures of this particular tool is coming directly from microsoft's patch management team and hence exploit code and exploit checksums are directly shared for this mrt tool to identify a particular virus i hope this was some interest to you or some useful to you in case you liked this please consider subscribing thank you